All right, we have some lunch. We decided to hook up the wood stove this morning. And this was the same one that heated our house in Hemrod. It was pretty good to have it going. Um, we're just blowing the hot air up the... Got the servant stairway back there. Little skinny stairs, so we're just blowing the heat over here. Um, it was below zero the last couple days. It's not as cold now, but eh. Anyway, I gotta. I'm never gonna use all this, I don't think. So I'm gonna sort the cedar out, and at least these two front bins will uh, load this up with the Honda. I got the Honda started, and wrapped some house wire around the throttle handle so it would well i gotta get out there and control <laughs> control what's going on get the jumper <laughs> jumper cable still <laughs> uh oh hey what what's it matter just more stuff to fix so hey hey What's going on, man? Oh, kids, I tell you what. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. And your jumper cables for a ride. Hey! Yeah, your jumpers. <laughs> Who taught you how to drive a truck? The same guy that doesn't take his... Oh, you ripped my ground wire off, Dwayne. You ripped my wire off. Oh. Now I'm going to have to fix that. Ah, oh, man. You can't just get on the four-wheeler and ride off. And check on this, too. Can't, can't let these be all ripped off. No, I think... Okay, somebody, I wonder if somebody had a winch on here. Got a, got a couple of cut off cables. No, that looks good. <clears throat> That's a Caltrick battery. And, um, I just sent, I just sent the Articat battery over to the hardware store. Hopefully, she can get a, an exchange done on it. That's a, interstate ATV battery and then this Honda's got an interstate ATV battery and both are junk so anyway let's get a tripod and we'll get a time lapse of some stuff going on here and then someday we'll talk about this just not right now
Alrighty guys, it's night time already. I, I just had this fall out of my pants. A quarter. <laughs> That's almost a dollar now. I was at the Valley Inn on a snowmobile Sunday evening, I think. And I got up to walk out the door and 50 cents fell out. And the guys were like, hey, you lost your money, sir. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to leave it. It fell. It's, it's just falling out. This is when I stood up, 25 cents fell out. And then I walked across the leave and 25 cents more fell out. So I don't know where it is. I stopped right then and there, checked all my pockets, and I have no idea what's going on. I still have... No, I just put that 75 cents in my pocket, so... Yeah, I... <laughs> anyway. So, uh, the Venom here is going out the door. We need to order some bits for it. I see something in the axle I need to check out. <clears throat> it looks like there's a... There's a spacer stuck in here. All right. I thought it was a... I thought it was a uh, spacer bush. So we just took the center axle out. And I don't know how that comes apart. It's probably a shaft with some spacer bushes. But there's a lot of ice on it right now, so... Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, no evidence of it being a bush, but we got tons of ashes and stuff. So we did get one rack of firewood down there just out of my own personal stash. Um, based on the knowledge that we are probably, we're not planning to use it to heat the house. So we don't need all of it. Classic Polaris are sitting back there with the hoods open. There's the big red ones outside, and it needs his hood open. I think we'll just skull drag the old Yamaha out out the door and um, leave it out there, see if the wolves eat it. And then um, I want to bring a little skidoo in here that needs uh, some quality work done on the hood hinge. So um, first, let's take uh, take a moment. And organize this corner of the shop. We got kids' toys and wood blocks and junk. I think once I bring the skidoo in, I'll set the rear track on that stump of wood. It's about the same width as the snowmobile track. And then we'll put the front end up on something. Probably that little um, roll around thing I made for the uh, for the ugh, the 580 powered 550. Uh, I can remember all the names except Polaris. There it is. Get that stand from the Polaris or something. We need something. I got a blue bucket back there and a red bucket over there. That could be pretty decent. Um, but we'll figure it out. All right. Let's get to brushing. Brush, brush, comb, comb. <laughs> <laughs> Concrete is fun to brush and comb. <laughs>
Well, it's supper time. We're getting ready to finish out the day. And it's, I was going to say it's never a good day when the old Honda's in the shop. But we do have a problem. And it's not necessarily, we don't get to see the Honda in the shop a lot. <clears throat> I mean, for, for genuine breakdowns, so far the Honda's been in the shop for upgrades and just delayed maintenance set I'm, i feel like i need to maybe take one of these and put a honda um street bike motor in it so i can have a reliable snowmobile you know <laughs> take out the bad put in honda success and fuel mileage <clears throat> so i don't know guys i'm gonna shut my mouth i'll see you in another one bye